Hi people, what's going on? This is another message about narcissism that the Lord has he's gently encouraged me to share it for the purpose of togetherness, understanding that you're not alone, to quell that sense of loneliness or it's to quell the sense of loneliness. That's what this one's about. That's what this message is about. This message with regards to narcissism is the other side of what I spoke about the other day. So I discussed reactive abuse and the narcissist not uh, respecting your boundaries um, in that message. In this message, I'm going to speak about the ostracizing, the isolating that the narcissist implements, the silent treatment, the making you feel that you're not worthy, you're not good enough, that you are dead to them. This can be implemented by friends, family, a partner that, or an ex. Um, work organi organisations can do it. The workforce can implement it. They can make it difficult to provide references, for example, things like that. To recommend you, make recommendations of, uh, you know, to uh, future employers. And what is very hurtful about that is if you helped that business flourish excuse me, if if that business was failing and it was d due to your input and they're just disgruntled that you left or for whatever other reason and now they want to make you suffer. The narcissist, the narcissistic spirit, however you want to refer it, refer to it yourself, as a means of punishment for you exposing something or drawing something out into the light, something that they wanted hidden, something that they themselves did not want to acknowledge and and it's they will punish you for that. And it's usually tied in with some past grievance that they had with you that you were unaware of. It didn't just suddenly appear out of nowhere. There was a there was a grudgeful spirit towards you. There was some sort of grudge or bitterness or resentment that was already in place by the time the narcissist decided to punish you and isolate you or ostracise you, or know of things that they chose not to tell you, but told everybody else. This is usually a family dynamic. So this will resonate with people in families particularly. They're the people that I'm, that the Holy Spirit wants to reach because you are the ones that are feeling lonely. And the Lord is annoyed. <laughs> He's loving all the time, but it grieves him. It grieves the Holy Spirit. If you're familiar with the word of God, then you will know that the Holy Spirit can be grieved not only by our actions, but also by the actions of others against his anointed, against the children of God. He's aware. He sees it all. So this message is for you. Being, so what do I mean by ostracising? Okay, leaving you out. So the people that choose to leave you out in your family, they don't give you the information that they tell everyone else. They don't invite you to functions of the families or out, you know, whatever it may be. But they make a point of doing so. Because, listen, not everyone in families are going to get on and not and, you know, it's, it's not a given that because person A is going to something, person B definitely has to go. However... If it was a thing where it's usual for you to go or it would be, it's now abnormal, it's now markedly different to how things were and, and you know, you will know if this applies to you or not and you know that you're being left out deliberately, there you go. They do it to make you feel unworthy. They do it to make you feel like you don't matter and it's not true. The Lord wants you to know it is not true. This says more about them than you. This is going to be a short word. But I want you to know that. The Lord wants you to know that. Then I've been doing some. I was actually doing something. I was busy in the middle of something. And then the Lord brought it back to my attention. And I, I felt the urge. I felt the necessity. Something comes over me. It's between the Lord and I. How we interact with one another. And and I realised, okay, I understand, Lord. Let me just obey. I understand. So, so I'm going to have to upload this tonight. There is someone that needs to hear this message. It's not true. You are worthy. That's the whole problem. 
your light i know that it sounds like i go on about this a lot but that's because maybe one video reached one person and the uh, and this one will reach another that needs to hear it your light shines very brightly and whoever it is and you will know if this applies to you they are aware of that and they feel that your light i don't like well yeah i suppose that is what it is your light there is something about you that people gravitate towards or that shows it shows there's something that you have that they lack and they feel and it doesn't mean that they don't have other qualities but they feel that you having these qualities diminishes or somehow takes away from them and theirs they're annoyed with you but the main thing is this when people do this to you another thing okay sorry lord isolating so the ostracizing of you leaving you out is also to do with the isolating it's also to do with making you feel inadequate making you feel lonely making you feel there's that word again lonely making you feel like you're not a part of things listen i've said it before and i'm gonna say it again the lord is allowing it the lord perhaps they are doing his work he wants you to be set apart he wants you to be removed from that circle and you being you would not be removed from that circle if it were not for this occurrence something maybe connected to that person that is doing this to you or those people that are doing this to you that the lord wants you to have nothing to do with he wants you away from that perhaps maybe even you could be there's a term called the scapegoat in narcissism look it up and perhaps the lord is sparing you from something whatever it is he doesn't want you there it's him that doesn't want you there remember man's rejection is god's protection there's a reason that the lord is allowing a distance to become to to be formed between you and them okay so don't don't beat yourself up about it don't be glad that you're soft and fleshy and emotional and have empath empath empathy empathetic ways empathic rather empathic i beg your pardon empathic ways be glad that you are sensitive sensitive to things of the spirit sensitive in tune with your own feelings and with what's right and with, with what's wrong okay there's nothing wrong with it's okay to feel hurt a little girl looked at my daughter today my daughter's a baby she's a little girl okay a young child and another young child looked at my daughter my daughter said to me mommy that little girl just looked at me and scrunched her face i said what do you mean sweetheart she said she went like this <laughs> i said don't worry sweetheart don't worry as we walked around the shop then she said mommy there's that little girl she did it again and so did her big brother now now i looked when I heard big brother and her big brother was the little girl was the same age as my daughter and her big brother was around I'd say 12 10 to 12 no no more than that so I said I kneeled down and I whispered to my child don't worry sweetheart it's okay it's not about you that says more about them it's because of your pretty little face and your you're radiating a lovely energy and it's obviously different to theirs and they don't like it it's to be expected it will always happen in life just don't worry about it get over it don't even look at them again don't pay them any mind she said okay then she tugged at my clothes a little while later and said but mommy it makes me feel sad when people look at me like that and it just broke my heart although i still maintained what i said i said don't worry and i said it a little bit firmer this time don't even look at them okay my love don't worry they're not being raised the same way as you they don't have the same spirit as you forget about it i said okay but it did pull up my heartstrings because that softness that's what i'm talking about my child as opposed to the other child and i'm not it's a child they're both children so i have nothing against the other child but my daughter had a sense that it was wrong and that it made her feel sad and that it's not nice to do that to others because she did say that after me afterwards to me as well 
But I wouldn't do that to anyone. I said, I know, baby, that's why, that's why. It's that energy, it's the opposing energy. She has, that child has a different energy to you. Pray for her. The Lord said we have to pray for her. That's what I said as we left the shop. And I said it quietly. I was tempted to say it to the child, or at least to the child's mother, but I didn't. But my point is this. That's what it is. It's You see, children are innocent. That's why the Lord said, be ye like a child, for the kingdom of heaven is full of these. And if you are not like one of these, you will not get in. Not verbatim, I've paraphrased it, but that's what the Lord said. It's okay to be sensitive. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to know that something like that is wrong and that making people feel that way. There's so, In fact, if you are not like that, there is something wrong with you. If you don't have any sensitivity in you, if you have no heart for someone, if you have no kindness towards that person or care and you just wish to cut them off because I'm not talking about grey rocking you see we the victims of narcissists may have had to grey rock a person which is just go no contact not entertain their ways and create a boundary that's okay that's understandable that's a, that's something different that's not using a an, an act like the silent treatment to punish a person to punish them for being who they are, to punish them for having the audacity to break that false reality, to break that fake construct that they have built up, the false persona, the fake reality that they are living. If you dare tap it, <laughs> they will be annoyed with you and they will punish you. And they will make it look like they are creating a boundary with you. And that's the that's to do with the video, the last video I made on all of this that I called narcissism, reactive abuse, and I'm gaslighting. But what I want you to remember is this. It's okay to be set apart. The Lord will use these people to do it. Even Satan is on a leash. Even Satan is working for God. Because what the devil meant for harm, God turned it to your good. So don't mourn it too much. It's cruel, it's, it's unkind, it hurts. Acknowledge all of this. It leaves, it leaves you wondering, what, what have I done? And that's what it's meant to do as well. It's meant to make you ponder and think of the person. It's meant to make you feel pine and feel like, why? What have I done? You've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong but be the beautiful creation that God made you to be. That's the problem. You're, you refuse to... You, it's not that you refuse to even. You don't even try that hard. You're just not ever going to fit into the box that they would have you in. They don't want you in the box that you are in right now. And you're not even in a box. That's the problem. Get back in your box. That's what they're saying to you. Get back in, in your box that you came, but you came out of your mother's womb a long time ago. Get back in your box is what they're saying. Or get into that box. They don't like the fact, the freedom that you have. There is something about you. There is something good, God-given about you that they don't like. Would you do what they do? What Would you do what they are doing? Would you do it to someone you didn't like? Would you do it to an enemy, let alone someone that you claimed to love or that you claim still to love or or a, a friend would or a, a loved one I, I mean like a family member would you would you do it no so there you go their actions say more about them than they do about you and don't take it to heart god bless you i love you with the love of christ i hope this message has reached you i think i've covered it all he's the lord said to me ostracism isolating silent treatment making you feel like you're not worthy. I play, I made a video called Mind Games. I think you should have a look at that one. It says it in the thumbnail picture, Mind Games. It's a little bit, It's. it can be linked to that, depending on who the who it is that is doing this to you and trying to make you feel like you're uh, not worthy. And it's also part of an act that is being put on or part of some sort of agenda. You don't fit in with the agenda. There's an agenda and you don't fit in. You probably, you'll probably blow it up. You'll probably, you'll probably, you know, put that light. You're a light, okay? 
Those that want to stay in the darkness, they did not like the light because the light shows their sinful ways. The light shows everything for what it is. The imposter syndrome cannot be kept up. The fake construct, the false reality that is being portrayed. The edited show that's being screened. You ruin it. You come along and it's suddenly a live show and there are no lines being kept to. There's, there's no editing. It's just raw as it is. And that they don't want that because then it's going to be seen that they can't act or that the act is an act. Use your brain. You And I say that respectfully. Don't keep turning this... This, don't keep turning this magnifying glass in on yourself. What did I do? You did nothing. You've done nothing. You've done nothing but what I've said you've done. You've done nothing but exist and be yourself. Be the person God made you to be. Be the person that God has you and wants you to be. God bless.